A group of researchers from the Munich Institute of Robotics and Machine Intelligence has introduced a humanoid robot named Garmi, which will take on the functions of a nurse in nursing homes. It can also be used in regular households. The robot can open bottles and serve food. The white humanoid Garmi doesn't look much different from a typical robot. It stands on a wheeled platform and is equipped with a black screen instead of a face, with two blue circles acting as eyes. Since the number of people needing care is rapidly increasing, and by 2050 Germany is projected to have a shortage of 670,000 caregivers, researchers are developing machines that can take over some of the tasks performed by nurses, caregivers, and doctors. Garmi is currently undergoing beta testing, but the developers are confident that the robot will become widely used and in high demand in the near future. The Chinese company Elephant Robotics has introduced its new robot Mercury X1. This advanced humanoid robot stands at 1.18 meters tall and features 19 degrees of freedom, allowing it to perform a wide range of movements and tasks. Mercury X1 is equipped with a wheeled mobile base powered by high-performance direct drive motors, providing stable movement in challenging conditions and offering up to eight hours of autonomous operation, making it suitable for both personal and commercial use. This robot uses a high-performance main controller system powered by the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier, tasked with handling complex visual range algorithms, sensor fusion, localization and mapping, path planning and obstacle detection. Mercury X1 stands out with its highly efficient wheeled mobile base, which includes LiDAR, ultrasonic sensors, and 2D imaging systems for enhanced navigation and obstacle avoidance. The robot can reach speeds of up to 1.2 meters per second and can overcome inclines of up to 15 degrees. The mobile car lift is essential equipment in the automotive industry, especially in Asia, where it has gained widespread popularity due to its efficiency and versatility. This hydraulic lift system has revolutionized car maintenance by offering a safe and convenient solution for various types of servicing. One of the standout features of the mobile car lift is its mobility. Unlike traditional fixed lifts, this system is designed to move, allowing mechanics to easily reposition it around the workshop as needed. This enhances workflow efficiency by eliminating the need to constantly maneuver vehicles around a stationary lift. Moreover, the mobile car lift boasts impressive lifting capabilities. Its powerful hydraulic system effortlessly lifts vehicles of various sizes and weights, including sedans, light trucks, and SUVs. This versatility makes it a valuable asset for automotive repair shops that service a wide range of vehicles. Peter Lammer is a head chef at a restaurant in Germany. He was involved in a motorcycle accident, and after rehabilitation, doctors advised him to retire. Together with his friends, he came up with this effective mobile invention. Essentially, the elderly chef started cooking with the help of an exoskeleton. Just look at how he flies around the kitchen. This man certainly deserves respect for his determination, perseverance, and incredible strength of spirit. Despite serious health issues, he did not give up but continued to pursue his passion with extraordinary creativity. Share your thoughts in the comments about this remarkable chef. The French company Zapata is developing a personal vertical takeoff and landing aircraft called the Air Scooter. This 115 kilogram vehicle, designed for one person, will be equipped with 12 propellers and a hybrid power system. The Air Scooter will be capable of lifting up to 120 kilograms, reaching a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour and flying for over two hours. The exterior of the single seat Air Scooter resembles an egg on three supports with a frame on top consisting of eight arms that house 12 rotors. Another advantage is the air scooter's weight, which is only 115 kilograms. In the United States, for example, this means the air scooter qualifies as an ultralight aircraft, which does not require a pilot's license to operate. The company claims that operating the air scooter will be as simple as piloting a drone, due to automation and numerous safety sensors. Currently, there is no information about the cost of the vehicle or the date of its release.
The Xbot S, also known as Starbot, is a humanoid robot developed by the Chinese company Robot Era. Standing at 1.2 meters tall, the Xbot S showcases advanced robotics and AI technology designed for versatile applications. It features sophisticated sensors, navigation systems, and reinforcement learning algorithms that enable it to perform complex tasks autonomously. These tasks range from reconnaissance and tactical missions to operations in hazardous environments, including urban areas, mountainous regions, and underground caves. The robot's capabilities are enhanced by high-frequency control policies and robust navigation, allowing it to adapt to both flat and uneven terrains. Impressively, the Xbot S can conquer snowy terrains, staircases, and handle disturbances by employing reinforcement learning, making it exceptionally versatile and reliable in various challenging conditions. Additionally, the Xbot S uses advanced sim-to-real transfer techniques, ensuring seamless performance in real-world scenarios. This innovative robot represents a significant step forward in robotics, with potential applications in medicine, security, and industrial automation. ETH Zurich has unveiled an updated version of the robot W1, capable of standing, walking, rolling on its hind legs, and even overcoming obstacles for off-road driving. For specific tasks, it can move in a manner similar to a human. The robot pushes off the ground with its front legs and transitions from a quadrupedal to a bipedal position in less than a second. During this transition, its height increases from 55 to 152 centimeters. The W1 robot can accelerate to 36 kilometers per hour. While balancing on its rear wheels, the robot can move forward and backward, sharply change direction by 90 degrees, and spin in place at a speed of 60 turns per minute. Even when colliding with obstacles, W1 maintains its balance. In a video published by the company, the robot is shown maneuvering between shelves in a room, bumping into one but maintaining its balance and not falling. Additionally, W1 can use its hind legs for walking. Among other capabilities, W1 can spin in place for 360 degrees, carefully navigate between obstacles, and independently regain its balance after unsuccessful collisions without falling. In the future, it could be used for work in warehouse facilities. In an era where the pursuit of sustainable and efficient transportation is more relevant than ever, the Spanish aerospace company Chrysalian Mobility stands as a beacon of innovation with its electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft known as Integrity. This pioneering aircraft is designed for passenger and cargo transport in urban and intercity areas. Integrity is equipped with Chrysalian's exclusive revolutionary fly-free technology, a unique stabilization system that ensures unparalleled efficiency, stability, reliability, and maneuverability. This technology, tested extensively both indoors since 2019 and outdoors since 2022 on a conceptual aircraft prototype, places Integrity at the forefront of aeromobility solutions. Integrity is well-suited for short and medium-range tasks, offering a combination of superior safety and comfort. It can accommodate five passengers and a pilot, with a flight range of 130 kilometers and a cruising speed of 180 kilometers per hour. Additionally, the aircraft promises a serene and eco-friendly journey with low noise levels and zero emissions, embodying Chrysalian Mobility's commitment to transforming how we navigate the skies. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. See you next time.